Today, I'm going to tell you about two jazz legends, Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong. These two giants came into celebrity in the 1920s. They are two of the biggest American composers that created a very distinct ensemble sound that we call pure American music. Born on April 29, 1899, Duke Ellington was raised by musical parents in Washington, D.C. At the age of seven, he began studying piano and earned the nickname Duke for being a gentleman. Despite being awarded a college music scholarship, Ellington followed his passion for music and began to play professionally at age 17. At 23, he felt the pull of the bright lights of the big city up north and moved his band to New York City. There, he secured an engagement at Harlem's famous Cotton Club, and that's where he became famous. At age 32, Ellington went on tour around the world, and his reputation as a gentleman made his band even more special. They never broke up like those Jonas Brothers did, and they stayed together for over 50 years. It was Ellington's blend of melodies and rhythms that gave audiences a new experience. Complex yet accessible jazz that made the heart swing then and still today. This is Take the A Train by Duke Ellington. Next up is Louis Armstrong. He was two years younger than Duke Ellington, born in 1901 in New Orleans, Louisiana. When he was 11, he got into big trouble and he was sent to live in a home for troubled boys. It was there that a teacher gave him a trumpet and music turned his life around. When he was 21, he followed his teacher to Chicago. There, he networked with other jazz musicians and earned a reputation as an amazing jazz soloist. He also became instantly recognizable because of his gravelly voice that he used to change the words and melody of a song around for heightened emotions. This is known as scat singing. With these impressive skills and his charismatic stage presence, by the end of his career, he was widely regarded as a profound influence on the music that we still love today. Despite the challenges he had in his youth, Armstrong never viewed his childhood as the worst of times. But instead, he devoted his life to bringing joy to people through his music. One of his most famous songs is, What a Wonderful World. I see skies of blue, clouds of white, bright blessed days, dark sacred nights, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow So pretty in the skies Also on the faces Of people going by I see friends shaking hands Saying how do you do They really 
Together, these two legends can be called the most important figures in the history of jazz. They revolutionized and invented new musical sounds that changed the world of music. Here they are performing together. It don't mean a thing. <laughs> I said don't mean a thing, and all you got to do is sing like la 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 da la doo 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 do